What are the best chips ever? Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm from Sydney, Australia. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the Retinlink community. Create stuff, photos, videos, or conversations with other like-minded individuals. Do it now. Like-minded individuals. Yeah, we're like-minded. They like us with their minds. Last Friday, we asked you, who's the best action hero ever? We have tabulated the votes in the comments and video responses and determined that the best action hero ever is... Chuck Norris. What about Rambo? You're dead to me. Looks like Ethan and Bennett might have some relational issues to work out, but thank you for helping us determine the winner of best action hero ever, Chuck Norris. Time to move on to bigger and louder things. What is the best chip ever? Or what's the best chips ever? And I think for this, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna widen the field a little bit to not just be potato chips, but be any bag snack. Well, chip chip like things that might come in bags, like a Cheeto, right. for an, exa as an example. It's not a chip, but it's in a bag. It's like a chip that got, was about to come out and be flattened into a nice chip and then somehow got like turned into like a cheese turd of some kind. And sh he, he's right there, so he's just off screen below us. And he's kind of sensitive, so don't speak like that about Mr. Fritos. If they caught him- he's right there. Well, it's Mr. Cheetos. Oh, you're saying Cheetos? If they called Cheetos cheese turds, no one would buy them. But they don't call them cheese turds. I don't even think that's true, by the way. You don't you know? think what? Cheese turds? I might, I might buy that at least once. Cheese curds, I'd eat those. I Cheese curds those. are very good. All right, uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna go through a list. This is, like we always say, by no means an exhaustive list. You can vote in the comments for any best potato chip or bag snack you want, but it might help whet your voting palate. And you international folks, people outside of uh, the US, there, you may have access to chips that we don't even know about that you think are amazing. Put those in the comments. When we hope learn that something. you do. We do hope that you do. And make video responses. Educate the masses. All right, let's start with, uh, you know, the classic Lay's potato chips, you know? It says classic on it, you know? That, 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 that's, that's something in its favor. This is the quintessential potato chip. But is it the best chip ever? You let us know. Now, you, you know the slogan for Lay's, at least for the long, longest time. Bet you can't eat just one, oh yeah. I think it's great that they used a taunt, you know, a dare to be their marketing ploy. I bet you can't eat just one. Watch me. Well, the dare wasn't, I bet you can't eat one. It was, I bet you can't eat just one. So now we're kind of at the dare point. Well, that one. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Wow. Well, wow, perfect. I mean, they're salty and they're crispy, really thin. Whoa, whoa! I, I want more, another one. I want another one. Listen, I want wait. another one. You're gonna keep it there the whole time. You're gonna be tempted the whole time. See if you can. It's so simple. It's so classic. It's so perfect. Did you know in Belgium? Wow. There is a cucumber and goats flavor. I don't believe that. That is true. Wikipedia. Cucumber and goats. Goats. Yeah, but it's goat cheese. Not like goat meat. Yeah. Cucumber and goat meat. But I, I don't know, they do call it cucumber and goats. So I don't know why. Uh, you could also vote for ruffles. Ruffles are like lays, but they have ridges. I think that's what the slogan is actually. We don't have any ruffles here. Not quite classic, but at least, I, I haven't had those in a long it's time. It's for people who like a, uh, that texture. You know, they want texture in their mouth. I think it makes it dippable, but that was before you know, you could you could get like a Tostito and, and dip something. But I think it. they're more structurally sound because of those ridges too. It's like a roof, it's like a roof. Yeah. Uh, Pringles, we got some Pringles over here. Of course, Pringles are not in a bag, but they are potato chip. They're actually 42% potato. How do you know that? I know these things, man. Here's, but they're, here's what I you know, used to do they're the things. only, the only chips worthy of a cylindrical container. And you can act like a duck knocked out of them. And you can lay like a duck that eats its own week. A duck that eats its own week. I like Pringles because their logo has a dude with just eyeballs, a bow tie, and a mustache. 
I mean, if if I'm a dude and I can only have three things on my face, I would definitely choose those three things. Well, you are a dude. Yeah, I am a dude. And That's you don't right. have a mustache. If I'm a dude that had to choose only three things to be on my face, I would choose eyeballs, a bow tie, and a mustache. Those are good, and I like I like the canister. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. You know, they say, you know, forget grammar. Just buy our this chips. This is chips. All right. Un uniform size with a hyperbolic paraboloid saddle shape. Shaped like saddles. I think that's I think that's also worth noting. Do we have a horse, like a miniature I might, horse somewhere? I might be voting, we should. I might be voting for Pringles because, I mean, sour cream and onion Pringles, whoo, it's hard to beat those. You know, you, they just rest on your tongue like the saddle on a horse. Like a, kind of like a dinosaur. Fritos. Fritos, I, I don't have a lot to say about Fritos. They say the original on them. And uh, they're kind of greasy. Like if you if you put a pile of Fritos on a paper towel, you know, in a few minutes the paper towel is going to be greasy. Well, the Frito is a corn chip, which is dis <clears throat> distinctly different than a potato chip, and uh, they're great in chili. You throw these things in chili, and it really takes it up a notch. Okay. Well, you can vote for that. Are you voting for Fritos? No, but I really like them. Okay. Cheetos rhymes with Fritos. Anything in and O's like Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, I think is is uh, giving us a run for our money today. My hands have gotten so greasy that I can't open the Cheetos. Those of you watching in Japan, see if you know this. An extraordinary flavor of Cheetos is what? Strawberry. Strawberry Cheetos, it's very hard for me to uh, imagine. Cheetos are, are like snowflakes. There are no two alike. Look at that. I mean, look at that one. But they definitely both look like cheese turds. I mean, I love them. I'll eat them all day long. That one looks like Thor's hammer. That look, one looks, looks like a screw. It's like an adventure. You never know what's about to come out. Look, like, boom. Look, look at that one. Listen to this. Shortly after the death of Michael Jackson, a Cheeto shaped like Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk was posted on eBay. No lie. Guess how, guess how much it went for at auction. $100,000. Guess again. $100. $35.18. Huh. But hey, somebody out there has... It must have not looked a lot like him. It actually, it just looks like the legs of somebody doing the moonwalk. I, you know, it doesn't look like Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk. It looks like a Cheeto trying to do the moonwalk. It's really what I'd it looks pay, like. I'd pay four, I would have paid 45 I didn't know about it. Nobody told me. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was... Uh, what else we got? Years back. Doritos. Ooh, yeah. Doritos, are, you know, they're hard to beat, especially if you get a pack that has a lot of the accidentally double-dosed Doritos. You know, some of them, they'll be folded over and they'll have like twice as much cheese. In 2008, Doritos were promoted by an out-of-this-world advertising campaign, literally beaming a 30-second ad for Doritos into a planetary system 42 light years away. So 42 years from 2008? Yeah. Okay, so 2050. Some alien is going to learn about Doritos if they happen to tune into the same to the right frequency. I mean, what are the chances? And, and then what? They're going to be like, "Wow, those look good." And and then, and then what? Then they're going to develop technology to travel in space if they haven't already. That could take a hundred years. And and then what? And then they're going to travel here. It's going to take them forty. Well, depending on how fast they go, it could take them centuries. They can't get to the speed of light. That's impossible. So, I mean, how, and how old, how, how long does an alien life form live? You all know? humans will be dead by the time they get, to, they get the message. By the, time, by the time they are able to make, you know, apply the message. And if not, you know, it, it might bring on an alien war, you know, of disappointment. They'll We're show trying. up, be like, where are the Doritos? Why is everybody a zombie? Right. What? I don't know. I thanks Doritos for creating the next intergalactic war, or the first one. I guess I've never heard. I've seen movies about intergalactic war, but Andy Cap's hot fries. No, I've never had those. Don't, very good. Very hot. Did you just burp? No, I think somebody dropped something outside. Pork rinds. Pork rinds are you know I'm you know I I pity the people who are going to vote for pork rinds, but you can do it. Just, I love pork rinds. Kind of nasty. Tostito scoops, which I mentioned. Bugles. I'm voting for bugles. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Bugles are named after the instrument they take shape after. 
the bugle. Did you know that? That's an interesting fun fact, Link. Yeah, you, you know, bugles are very greasy, just like Fritos, but they but they taste better. And did you know that- You like the taste of bugles? Yeah, I love it. Have you really, have you had them recently? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're great, they taste great. And did you know that there are peanut, chocolate peanut butter flavored bugles? I haven't had any of those, but I've got to get some now. Um, if you if you have some of those, mail them to our P.O. box. I'm gonna have to go with Lay's. That's what I'm voting for. You can vote for your own favorite chip. You just say the second one. Yeah. In the comments. In the third one. Or make your video response with the argument of what do you think is the best chip slash bag snack ever. Let your voice be heard. We didn't get to talk about Funyuns. Let's just end the show with the wheel and the Funyuns. Rhett dies. Something tells me that these might be killer Funyuns. They are flaming hot. I think you need to act like you're tricking me into getting them. Hey man. Yeah, I'm gonna douse these. Like, I'm over here just eating Lay's just left and right. Like, douse ugh. these Funyuns with some cyanide. I can't eat one. In fact, I'm eating five. Hey man. Check out these Funyuns I got. If you want to be having some fun, you better eat some onions. Right there. They're, I haven't laced huh. them with anything, dude. Be oh. careful though, they're, pre they're deadly hot. Okay. Yeah, man. They're great. I would eat one, but I put some cyanide on them. <laughs> Pretty fun, huh? Funyun. Fun. Funyun. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Or actually, Monday. <laughs>